If you are listening to this podcast, you are probably one of the many people who struggle with math anxiety, which affects people of all ages. Even people with good math skills sometimes experience math anxiety. In this segment of our podcast, you will learn about math anxiety, including what it is and some of its causes. We're not trying to turn you into a math wizard, but we do want to help you to overcome your fear so you can take advantage of the many opportunities available to people who have a solid background in math. If you have started exploring career choices and started looking at the admission requirements for specific college programs in Ontario, you will have noticed that a background in math is required for a wide variety of programs. Regardless of whether you are considering a career in health and life sciences, business, technology, or skilled trades, you will find that all require applicants have completed secondary school math at the college, C, or university level. This includes popular programs such as registered nursing assistant, veterinary technology, business administration accounting, energy systems engineering technician, electrician, medical lab assistant, and so on. Many of the most desirable careers require a solid grounding in math. If you haven't already done so, we encourage you to go to the website of the college you would like to attend and check out the web page for your choice of program. Ontario's colleges include a section marked admission requirements. Most likely it will say grade 11 or grade 12 C or U math, although sometimes there is a specific reference to MAP 4C or MCT 4C. Don't let math anxiety be a barrier to reaching your goals. If you suffer from math anxiety, you already know what it feels like. Math anxiety shows itself in both physical and psychological ways. Some people experience stress or panic when they have to solve a math problem. Others draw a mental blank on what they need to do and how to proceed. Some students find they can't remember information they already know, such as how to do math operations. On the physical level, math anxiety may lead to shortness of breath, sweating, or nausea. It's a terrible feeling that frustrates adults who are accustomed to feeling competent and in control most of the time. All of these negative feelings and experiences can create a cycle of failure. Having a negative math experience leads some students to avoid math. Avoiding math means that the student is inadequately prepared. Being poorly prepared can lead to poor performance. It seems like a never-ending circle that causes students to feel like they may never succeed. But, as you'll learn in segments four and five, we have practical advice that will show you how success is possible. Music